Slitherwing does not do things halfway. The sanctioned form of Volcarona features massive strengths balanced by significant drawbacks. It's a tough but rewarding Pokemon to pilot, and it's up to you to take advantage of its potent upsides while skillfully playing around its weaknesses. Today in Paradox Perusal, we'll discuss everything you need to master the mighty Muscle Mob. Its highest high is its raw offensive potential, an amazing 135 physical attack stat combined with a powerful move pool that can devastate opponents. Its most unique stab move is the rare first impression. You know extreme speed, right? While first impression has the same plus two priority, an even higher whopping 90 base power, and stab with no terror required. The main downside of first impression is that like fake out, it can only be used on your first turn on the field. But after turn one, you still have two 80 power above moves with very strong secondary effects. First, Leech Life, which heals for a ton off of Slitherwing's high attack, and Lunge, which is guaranteed to cut enemy attack by one stage. Close Combat is its best fighting type stab option and does massive damage. And Stab U-Turn is great as a high damage pivot that very importantly resets stat drops from Close Combat and recharges your first impression. As for coverage moves, Flare Blitz is a very powerful choice that has great damage and Sun, as the fire type damage boosts combos with attack protosynthesis. Acrobatics is another fantastic option, but pretty much mandates the use of booster energy, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. And Flame Charge is great speed control plus chip damage so the moth can attack before its enemies. Bulk Up is useful for both its attack and its defense boosts, too. That's a lot of moves, especially if you add Protect to the mix. And therein lies one of the trickiest skill checks of Slitherwing. It wants to run all these moves, but you only get to choose four. You need to correctly identify Slitherwing's role on your specific team and choose the moves that let it succeed at that role. Be very intentional. As a general guideline, I recommend slot 1 is Stab, slot 2 is Coverage, slot 3 is Utility, and slot 4 is Flexible and runs either a second Stab move or a second Utility move. Notice how I prioritize a Coverage move as mandatory, but set a second Stab move as optional. That's not normal, but Slitherwing has a very specific reason for that. Its stab types are bug and fighting, which have pretty bad offensive synergy. It's the opposite of synergy, really. There are four types that resist both fighting and bug. If you want to hit flying, poison, ghost, or fairy, you need a coverage move. Good thing Slitherwing has so many strong options. Defensively, Slitherwing stats are middling, which is pretty good for something with 135 base attack. 85 base HP and 79 base defense are just high enough to be not squishy, but its higher 105 special defense means it can take special attacks much better. This medium bulk is one of the reasons that Slitherwing is so tricky to pilot. You mess up one time by swapping into the wrong move for example, and Slitherwing loses enough HP that it's on its last legs before it can even start fighting. Bug fighting is decently good on defense. Bug means you resist ground and fighting, so Slitherwing resists all stab attacks from the powerful Great Tusk. Dark Resist is also very useful, and means in future series Slitherwing will be very strong into all treasures of Rune except for Fiery Chi Yu. The Flying, Fire, Psychic, and Fairy weaknesses aren't great, but only 4 weaknesses is also pretty good, and Terrastalizing can help with these weaknesses. Slitherwing's best Terra types are Fire and Fly, which are absolutely phenomenal. Both give the best of both offense and defense by eliminating all weaknesses and giving Stab to your coverage move, either Flare Blitz or Acrobatics. What more could you ask for? Terra Fire even grants resistance to Fairy and Fire. Steel is also a good Terra type if you're okay with keeping your Fire weakness. Though even with Terra Steel, you probably should still run Flare Blitz or Acrobatics because at only 92 kilograms, Slitherwing's Heavy Slam won't do much damage unless you very specifically want to target lightweight Fairies, and Close Combat already covers most of the types Steel is strong to anyway. You can also go Terra Bug or Terra Fighting for the stat damage boost, but mm, honestly, you'll probably get more value out of Fire or Flying. How about Slitherwing's base 81 speed? It's kind of awkward. Either put in 52 speed EVs to get to 108 speed points so it outspeeds Iron Bundle and Tailwind, or focus on bulk and accept the fact that you're going to be outsped by most things in the format. Leech Life can be helpful if you're expecting to move after opponents since it can life steal back some of the damage you take at the start of your turn. Flame Charge in your utility move slot can let you build high speed in exchange for one lower damage attack. And of course, First Impression lets you override the move order for a single turn. Now I'll cover specific builds, all of which have Poke Paste listed in the description below. If you have any questions, feel free to ask Abby and me in the comments. First, we have a faster build that can outspeed Iron Bundle or Fluttermane after a single Flame Charge, and then wipe them out next turn. Assault Fest is great here to make sure you actually get the Flame Charge off because Slitherwing wants to run 4 damaging moves anyway. 
Terra Fire blocks Splutter Maid's Moon Blasts and boosts the damage on Flare Blitz, too. Bug Bite provides a good mix of damage and healing. Next, we have a bulky build assigned to crush Great Tusk and Talonflame. You hit like a truck, resist Great Tusk in and out of Terra, and can U-turn to reset first impression in your close combat stat drops. And this build will outspeed Iron Bundle under Tailwind. Close combat or terrifying acrobatics will obliterate enemies thanks to booster energy, especially with the damage boost from bulk up. This has been Paradox Perusal with Sly and Pine VGC. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like. And for more VGC analysis, news, and challenges, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, and best of luck mastering the muscle bond.